Valley man says he's on the hook for a cell phone bill that doesn't even belong to him. So he contacted three hundred sides Gary Harper for some help. Cell phone bills are pricey enough, so you can imagine how angry this viewer was when someone opened up a cell phone account in his name, didn't pay the bill, and then sent this guy to collections. Charlie Moses uses Verizon for his cell phone service, and for the most part, he's been happy. As far as the product goes, uh, happy with that. The product's been fine. It's been good. But all that changed, he says, when Verizon left this strange voicemail nearly two months ago. My name is Robert, and I am with Verizon for Um I would need for you to give us a call back about the order that you have placed. Just needs verification before we can start the service. Start service? Charlie and his wife were a little confused, but they thought it would be better not to call Verizon back. We just proceeded to not call them back. We yeah. just figured, well, if they're saying call us to verify, we are not going to call because it's not a valid account. But not calling may have been a mistake because a little more than a month later, Charlie got this Verizon bill for a fraudulent account totaling just over $117. So he called Verizon, and according to him, they agreed to shut it down and waive the balance. So about two weeks after this call, or actually a couple weeks after this call, I checked my credit score and it had dropped 100 points. And I was alarmed. Yeah, Charlie's credit score dropped to 653 when he called TransUnion, one of the credit bureaus, to find out why. They told him Verizon said he had a delinquent bill that had been opened less than two months ago. And you guessed it, it was the very Verizon account that someone had opened fraudulently. Charlie says he called Verizon to complain, but says they wouldn't do anything. So that Verizon, not even going through a second billing cycle, is saying that this is not their problem, not their issue, and it's been sold to collections. They can't talk to me about it. Verizon looked into the matter at three in your size request and eventually wrote us this email saying, after review, our team deemed there was fraud on the account. Verizon went on to say Charlie won't be responsible for paying the bill and that they're removing the derogatory debt from his credit. Charlie says it took three on your side to make it happen. And by a big corporation like Verizon, I just feel like, you know, there's, they're, they're just steamrolling people. They're not even giving them that, that benefit of the doubt. You know, Verizon never did explain to three on your side why they sent this bill to collections so quickly. Regardless, I appreciate the fact that they got involved at my request and resolved the issue as quickly as they did for me. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.